I think that dreams are very important and that's great that Europe started as a dream but it moved from being a dream into something that is real, sometimes boring. I think I would rather compare Europe to the love affair. If you have love affair at the beginning, it looks, you know, you all have butterflies in your stomach, you're very excited, you're you know, deeply in love, you only think about, well, the other person. But after being together for 10, 20, 30, 50 years, well, life changes, right? There is more routine, well, the ties are closer, but perhaps there is less passion about, about your relationship. And this, it's very natural. So what I want to think is that, first of all, it is okay even for the elderly to kind of reinvent their relationships. You can see people who are old and deeply in love. And I think this is a really great example for, well, all of us personally, but also for the European Union as a well, project consisting of real people and nation states. So it'd be great if we, if we can have this kind of passion. Whose dream? What dream? So there are lots of famous quotations in history, but I wouldn't say that Europe by itself has been only a dream because it has, it has all, always been also a reality. And, on the, and reality cannot simply be destroyed. It cannot simply recede into past. Europe is uh, not an ending dream. I think it's... Uh, it will overcome the, um, the crisis and it, it will become stronger after it.